Hello, dear ones. I just want to take a quick minute and pour some things into you, some encouragement God's been speaking to me about in my own life, things that I've needed to hear, and just answering some questions for me, uh, specifically regarding the scripture Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. This is what the word says. For the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Have any of you ha ever had seasons in your life where it feels like literally everything is going right? It's like you couldn't even mess it up even if you wanted to. All the right opportunities are coming your way. Doors are opening like crazy left and right. The right people are coming in your way. Finances are flooding in. Relationships are flooding in. Whatever it is, just the favor of God is all over you, all over everything you do. And then it feels like sometimes after those moments, after those seasons, it's like God goes silent. Like one minute everything was right, everything was happening, everything was, was going and taking off, and then the next minute it's like, God, where are you? Not even because things are going wrong, but it's like, it's just all of a sudden you're not hearing him or, or per se seeing him like you were in the previous season. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've had like almost patterns like that in my life where it'll be like one season is just off the chain crazy, just favor everywhere, and then it feels like all of a sudden I just, I can't hear God, it feels like he's silent. And uh, I began just praying into those things and asking him to just, just minister what that is, what, what is that, and why do I feel those things. And he took me to Deuteronomy. Uh, I do a lot of traveling. So I travel sometimes by plane, sometimes by car. When I travel by car, I have to use my GPS, probably just like many of you, because I need to know where I'm going. So I use my GPS. Uh, here's the thing about GPS, right, is, is she is real quick to tell you when you are not going the right direction. Uh, she will tell you over and over and over and over again, sometimes to the point where she gets a little snarky and I'm all, hey sister, you need to shut that attitude off real quick. Because she can, she can get feisty with it, but she lets me know when I am going the wrong direction or when I take a wrong turn. Here's what I have noticed though is sometimes I can be driving on a piece of interstate for 50, 60, 70, 100 miles, and she is silent. Not because I'm going the wrong direction. Not because I did something wrong, but because I did something right. See, when I'm going the right direction, there's nothing for her to have to correct because I'm already on the right track. I'm going where she told me to go. I'm doing the right thing. So she doesn't need to say anything in those moments, but when I'm going the wrong direction or when I, when I start to take a wrong turn, she's really quick to make sure that I get back on track. But in those moments where I'm going the right direction, she's silent. Dear ones, don't mistake God's silence in your life for God's absence in your life. Sometimes I believe that he'll take us into a season where we get on track and then we just get a coast through and he sits back like a proud papa smiling, cheering you on because he's so proud that you're going the right direction and he's literally just saying, yes, keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep going. You can do this. And he is a good father and he is quick to correct us when we're going the right way, which means we must be quick to listen. But don't mistake his silence for his absence because sometimes he is silent when we're going the right direction. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm always praying for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.